Hey everybody, it's summer now, and it's it's super hot. Um, it was reaching temperatures here in the garage of 100 degrees. Uh, it's been hot in here before, and I've worked while it was hot. Normally the fans take care of it, but this is the first coolish day in a while, and I'm doing this at like 10 or so in the morning, so it's obviously a lot cooler than later in the afternoon. We've only got the garage kind of half cracked, and I don't know, let's, I'm just trying to see what happened. Uh, this video is about the car, but it's about me also. Um, I needed to get my wisdom teeth pulled out. I've needed that for a very long time, and I went ahead and did it sort of on a whim. Uh, insurance was right. Uh, the dentist was listening, and I got it done. They threw a lot of stuff that I wanted to do way out of whack. Um, all kinds of just sitting on my butt, drinking liquids for a while, not being able to sing, not being able to drive. Um, they, they didn't put me on any painkillers that were like the good stuff. I just was taken like a handful of ibuprofen every day and antibiotics. Uh, so what's weird is I haven't had any alcohol in two weeks and I've only really been having solid food for the last four days. Uh, which that's a weird thing to kind of have become almost a habit. Uh, doing a lot of Soylent and a lot of uh, uh, green juice. I don't know. That, that You didn't come here to listen to that. Car stuff also got kind of thrown out of whack because of not being able to come in here and work with the heat and the wisdom teeth. But I recently got back in here and put one of the Recaro seats into the passenger side just to try to get something done. Um, what I'm getting at is... I'm doing this wrong. Um, I have kind of always had sort of a do the most you can with the least. And I'm watching too many build videos where people like spend $50,000 on a bolt for a, a Beetle from 1960 it, and, and they put airplane engines on a skateboard and I, I just, I'm overdoing it. So, something I normally do with something like this, something breaks, I fix that. And that's what I'm doing with the engine, but I kind of went overboard in the way that I ordered a bunch of parts all at once, and I never do that. So, from here on out, going back to simple. I'm not necessarily going to paint the inside of the engine bay like I was planning. I'm not necessarily going to do a full, complete wire tuck underneath here, because I don't really need to do that. I'm going to clean it up because I already started drilling a hole. It's going to be better, but it's not going to be like this crazy thing that like I don't know why I thought I should do. Um, the engine is almost complete. I got to get some mounts together and I'll do a video of the engine going back in the engine bay. That'll be great. I'm trying to get more music going and I, I, I just pick album names at random sometimes. The Hero Car kind of resonates in me, in me, it makes me feel like uh, just that one special thing that ties everything together and I want to do something with it. I want to make it happen, um, moving around it in a different way. All the songs aren't necessarily going to be about movies, that wasn't something that I like outwardly said a lot of times, but it was in here, it was rattling around like a, like a, like a $30,000 bolt ready to go on a Volkswagen. Uh, I don't know why I'm throwing this hat around. This is a hat from back when I used to drift that I got uh, at Summit Racing. It's the most, I don't know, it's goofy. Um, it's got flames on the side and checkered flag. That's how you want to go across the finish line, on fire. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I just threw it on the floor. Anyway, uh, the music stuff is coming together. I might be working on some guests on the songs. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I feel like I enunciate better without those teeth in the back of my mouth. Um, in in only in the way that the word enunciate is easier to say, and I don't feel like I'm like. Eh. Uh, there's gonna be some hopefully cool guests on the album. There's gonna be uh, some more kind of thematic things going on like I have that song there there which is about people just sort of discounting your feelings and only wanting to do the bare minimum to help and then I wrote that song that's sort of about letting yourself go 
and I never did actually tell anybody what that song was written about or what movie that was written about so I'm gonna put a link to it underneath this video and go ahead and make some more guesses before I tell everybody <laughs> but then uh, after that song about just kind of letting go and uh, giving in I recently wrote a song that's kind of about thinking about it before you do that so the other way and maybe those songs are gonna be right right behind each other finger guns right behind each other on either side um, this has been a weird like five and a half minutes because uh, I'm all over the place but I still feel like I'm giving you more than I than I do sometimes um, it's it's almost not a, it's not really a car video at all it's just an update I'll still put the car intro at the beginning or maybe I'll put the car intro right here should I be doing other kind of videos what do you guys want to see this is really late in the video to ask this what do you guys want to see more on the channel or the patreon or the YouTube just whatever um, I'd like to do something you guys kind of are interested in and what you kind of have seen before that you like but I'm just kind of like I don't have a straight out plan for the summer I feel like I should step it up and record the album this summer like all of the demos are coming out great but they're not complete songs it's I don't know if it's very obvious to some of you that they're not uh, and I feel like that was part of our promise like you guys give me lunch money and I give you music and I don't always come through with it so what what else would you like to see around here vines I don't want to say they're done but TikTok is crazy and there's this TikTok I have an idea for and I thought I might put that up on here and if you guys like it I'll make it a TikTok we I don't even know how they how most of that stuff is edited or if you can just upload something um, this is sort of stream of consciousness but maybe I should be doing like a video like this at least once a week or so just sort of a boom what's going on but anyway um, I'm gonna get back to doing stuff before it's hot uh, too hot um, I really appreciate you guys helping me out with stuff and I'm glad you like the stuff that I create um, I wish I could take a picture of how this phone is attached to the refrigerator right now I'm using magnets and strings because I can't find the little piece that goes on the top of my tripod and I'm tired of taping it to stuff uh, I probably should go back to using a real camera instead of just my phone because there's a lot of cracks in my phone from it falling because I attached it to the refrigerator with magnets and strength uh, but thanks again see you soon and don't forget my catchphrase